Today we're going to talk about VST plugins inside of Audacity, uh, some of the benefits, why you would want them, uh, how to install them. Uh, first off, VST plugins are now supported natively inside of Audacity. It used to require an enabler, and now it's just natively supported. And I'll show you in Windows some of the advantages and how to install. Uh, one of the biggest benefits is real-time effects. If you've ever tried doing EQ adjustments inside of Audacity, the native tools are not very good. You have to make changes, listen, make changes, listen, make changes, listen. It's not an intuitive way. Uh, VST plugins allow you to make those changes and hear those changes in real time. Uh, now you can't stack multiple plugins together in real time. Um, the, there are definitely limitations within Audacity itself, but VST plugins inside of Audacity make it much more useful and user-friendly and intuitive. Um, another advantage are there are a large number of free effects out there. Uh, you can also buy some, but many VST plugins are available for free and uh, I'll actually show you a few today. Uh, there are a few requirements though. 32-bit uh, VST effects are the only plugin supported. There are VST instruments and VST3 effects. None of those will work. Um, there are some that just won't be compatible within Audacity. Uh, if you're looking at buying something, uh, try it out. Use Use the uh, trial version, make sure it works before you uh, spend a bunch of money on a plugin and find out it doesn't work inside of Audacity. So with all that being said, uh, let me do a quick install. These are from Melda Production. So I go to their website. They have a free effects bundle. And to install it, you just get their um, universal installer. It comes with about 30 different effects and they're totally free. So let's go through here and install them. Uh, I agree with the terms. Now we need the VST plugins. We don't need the VST3 or AAX plugins. Um, other things might need them if you're using other tools. But we're looking at Audacity right now. And I'll select Next. This is a universal installer. So I'm going to select None. Choose the Free Effects Bundle. Because all of this is free. Except MXXX. It's a uh, mixer. Um, it's not free though. So it doesn't hurt if you install it but you won't be able to use that inside of Audacity. Um, so I've gone ahead and selected all the free ones. Choose Next. And the destination directory is just uh, where a few data files go. It's not important. What's really important is the VST plugins directory, the 32-bit, because these are the plugins that Audacity will use. Now, in my case, uh, the default installation location works. It's the program files folder, VST plugins folder. So if I look inside here, what we'll see is, uh, where is it? There it is. VST plugins folder. There's nothing there right now, but there will be shortly. I can install them there. Uh, that's the default location for most VST plugins. You can try it and see if it works. If it doesn't work, you can uninstall it and find your Audacity install location. It should be in the program files x86 folder if you're on a 64-bit system. If you're on a 32-bit system, it should be just program files. But find your Audacity folder. Inside there, there's a plugins folder. And that's where you'll want to do your install. I'm going to stick with the default location. I've tested it on this machine. I know it'll work. 
So I'm going to do that. This is if you have old copies of it installed, I'm just going to skip that because it's already cleaned up and let it do, it, it do its thing. All right, so uh, now I've started up Audacity. I have the new plugins installed. If I go over here, I'll see a bunch of new... No, I don't see anything new. Where are they? Okay, add remove plugins here. And what you should find are a bunch of new plugins that have not been enabled yet. These are... Find them. These are the ones I've installed, but I can't use them yet. I need to select all and select enable. It will go through and process through all of them and enable them. Now I have a bunch of new effects, but it's really hard to find them all. It's that, that menu is terrible. So go up to edit, preferences. Let's sort these. I'm going to group them by publisher and select OK. These effects are the meld production ones. I go up here. These are the default Audacity ones and some of the other ones that I've installed. But right here are the ones just installed. Very easy and quick. And let's show uh, some of the advantages of VST plugins. Now let's say I want uh, to adjust the EQ. Come in here, find equalizer. And pick where I want to play. Make whatever adjustments I want. I can hear the change with and without it. Go back, or go back to the beginning. Select and select the area I want to affect. So I want to affect all of it, enable it, and select apply, which prints the effect onto that. Now the effect is on there. I can go here, choose compressor, listen, have visual feedback, choose my threshold. I can hear what's happening and I can apply it. Now compare that with, uh, let me undo that. Compare that with the default um, equalizer and And notice I can't can't make changes. I can't select different areas. Uh, it's, it just doesn't doesn't work nearly as well. It's not as intuitive. Uh, same thing for many of the other effects. So check it out. Uh, get some VST plugins installed, uh, and really make Audacity much more useful uh, with these plugins than it was without them.